Hare Krishna. Look up and things will look up. All of us sometimes feel that, that things are going down, that everything is gloomy, that all our plans are getting frustrated. And at that time we start drooping, we start looking down, we start feeling disheartened. At such times if we look Around us, we see gloom and doom everywhere. But we can look up. Above all this world, along with all its distresses, is Krishna. He is the supreme controller and he is our supreme benefactor. If we turn towards him, if we look up at him, if we understand that everything is orchestrated by him, then we will get a perspective positively to see things. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that looking up at him will bring calm, peacefulness. Bhuktaram yagita pasa sarva loka maheshwaram surudam sarva bhutana gyatvamam shanti mrichati So in 5.29 he says that, that once we understand that he is the ultimate person to be pleased by everything. He is the person who controls everything. But he is our greatest benefactor. Then we will become peaceful. So sometimes, from our perspective, things may be going in a disastrous way. All our plans may seem to be falling apart. But if you understand that actually, the plans are still going on. That actually, everything is still on track by Krishna's grace. If you understand this, then we'll be able to move forwards. We'll be able to see that we can connect with Him. We can attain Him. We can love Him. And He will show us a way ahead, no matter what happens. So by seeing that this connection with Krishna is our greatest opportunity, it's our greatest blessing, it's, uh, it's the best thing that we can do in our life. By understanding this, we can move forwards. So, look up and things will look up. This is what happened to Arjun. The whole Bhagavad Gita helped Arjun to see that actually Krishna still exists, Krishna still cares. And rather than looking at the contextual, the circumstantial battle that he had to fight against his loved ones, he saw the transcendental plan of the supreme object of love. And thus, at the, by hearing the Gita's wisdom, he became filled with peace. So what was promised in 5.29, Shanti Mrichati, one will get peace. Arjun gets that peace by the end of the Gita. When he, he declares, Nashto Mohasputer Labdha, Tat Prasadan Maya Chuta, Sitos Migata Sandeha, Karisheva Chinantava. He says, I have become peaceful. And this is how, for us, if we turn, if we raise our vision towards Krishna by hearing the Bhagavad Gita, by practicing Bhakti Yoga, then we will find that things will look up. That even through the darkness of the world, we will see the mercifulness of the Lord manifesting as some plan that will keep us moving, even through the darkness, ultimately to supreme auspiciousness. Thank you. Hare Krishna.